African alternative rock band Dark Suburb, aka The Skeletons. Um, I'm Kanka Beezing of Dark Suburb. There's Akinatin. We have Shamba, Sashaka, Zulu, and Kama. So the characters in Dark Suburb were evolved from, you know, African legends, you know, people of African descent who have achieved great things at their time. And these were characters that are pretty much pre-colonial or during the colonial interference with Africa. So uh, my character, Kanka Bizin, was evolved from the character Kanka Mansa Musa of uh, Mali and then Bizin of the Dagomba culture, who was a griot. You know, because that's how we see ourselves, griots, but we're like African king legends. Akinatin was, has Egyptian descent. Um, Shamba, Congo. Kama, I think Botswana. Shaka Zulu, who is um, South Africa, and um, absent is Samuel Toure, who is who has Guinean descent. So dark suburb is a concept developed to represent the dark suburbs of society. That's the underprivileged or the deprived. So because we we believe that as masquerades, our music and art should represent something bigger, and that's what music has always been in Africa. It's always represented something bigger than just fame and fortune. So we dark suburb is to represent the dark suburbs of society, and then the, the the concept is that we use our music, touring the world to raise revenue and invest in these environments to develop people. Um, it's hard to tell, you know, why we chose rock music because it just came naturally. That that's the kind of music we just wrote or or brought out was just sounded very much rock, and we we also thought we chose the rock music because it, it's it's the it's the general music that is very much expressive. And it has a lot of elements that sit very well with African sound. And that's what we also seek to prove. So um, rock rock is the genre we, we, we took, but Afro rock is really what we want to call our sound. And it's because we, we're evolving a lot of African, you know, traditional sounds into our rock genre. <laughs> um, the songs, like every song has its own character. Um, I'd say that I feel you die is a popular song. You know, it is one of the first songs that we brought out, and it, it has a very um, the spirit of that song is just in, in how would I put it? It's just fascinating how people respond to how they feel you die. Ego B is another song that people respond to well. But you know, for years we've we've come to fi find our sound, and then the new single we're releasing now, which is Kele Wele, just has this effect. We we say it's the next I feel you die. But I think all the new songs that we are writing and evolving, we perform them live and people know the songs of her, though it hasn't been recorded. So I say the new music that we're coming with has a strong, you know, effect on people. Kelly Willie is, is one song we can mention. I mean, um, like we say, our concept had been evolving practically and we, we put out two projects. That's the, the Awakening, which was an EP. And immediately, the year we released the EP, we went, we went to win the unsung category at VGMA and we played on the main stage. Right after that, we, the next thing we realized that we're in Nigeria, you know, African Music Awards. We're nominated in, in the best group and we had just come. You know, and that was in a category where there was VVIP of Ghana, you know, Sorti Soul, which, which are like big names. So that was really a big deal for us. Then the next year, we worked on an album that took uh, a span of like seven months to record. That's the start looks like the end. And that album being our first album made it to the album of the year in Africa category. And that was a big deal, you know, for a first album. So that took us to Nigeria once again. So it, it's been a, bless, a blessed, you know, um, journey. We've been on the Nigerian stage twice, which is like one of the biggest stages in Africa because that's African Music Awards. But aside, aside from that, we have never made a move to do any world tours or something. So that was really um, big statements to us musically. Um, apart from music, we are, we are very much into the social development agenda we, we spoke about. We are in the, in the slums. That's where we do most of our research and work, trying to find ways and means that we can evolve businesses that can create employment you know for people because our agenda aside music is that use the music to bridge a gap between the privilege and the underprivileged use the music to raise revenue or also draw belief um or i say trust from people who can invest in the dark suburbs of society so we are a lot in those environments evolving business concepts and stuff but aside that um we have other businesses we we're into real estate you know um our management is also into travel business. You know, if you want to travel the world, you, you can hit us up. We, we got that plug too. Um, if you're coming to a dark suburb event, 
you know, we tell you to expect the unexpected. You know, it's it's not sound that, especially if you are in an African environment, it's not sound that people expect in this environment to have a live band performing rock music and it's it's as good as we we make it sound. So it's 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 just just expect the unexpected. It's going to be fascinating. It's going to be theatrical. You know, at our best, we have a lot of you know stagecraft. Um, that we put into our performance and it just infects the, the audience. So just be ready for awesomeness. <laughs> Kelly Willy is, is a very popular Ghanaian dish. It's one, I'd I, I like to say it is the United Nations of African food. Um, Kelly Willy works with anything, you know, it's, it's plantain with ginger in it and many Ghanaians. You are not Ghanaian if you don't like Kelly Willy or you haven't tried Kelly Willy. So to us, Kelly Willy, it's, is is something that we could push like looking at our our agenda for african you know brands kelly willy is one one delicacy we feel can be a big african brand like how you know they sell the fries which are not you know it's not necessarily an african dish but it's, it's everywhere in the world like kfc and the stuff so if if we can do a song for kelly willy that will make kelly willy popular worldwide it might just be a dish Af uh, ghana might be exporting or selling you know to the rest of the world so it has a, an economic um dream to it um on the, on the part of entertainment we just feel like singing a song about a delicacy like kelly willy is something that you know a rock band would want to do and we have done it real well kelly willy love it and african plantain ginger it ginger it oh, oh and you're on your way will you kelly willy love it and african plantain ginger it ginger it oh, oh and you're on your way davi put it in your kogari haja put it e e inside the watch eh? if you are peanuts you you go sabi kelly willy i'm loving it you go find kelly willy in the morning time kelly willy in the daylight kelly willy in the midnight kelly willy i'm loving it this is dark suburb and you want to be streaming kelly willy on aftown platform right now check it out